It's officially UFC 281 fight week. I don't really want to necessarily talk about the whole card. I think that's a video for later on when I talk about predictions. But even the prelims, I mean, you got Dominic Reyes returning on the prelim. Molly McCann on the prelims. But one fight that I think a lot of people are excited about is the Dustin Poirier-Michael Chandler fight. Both fighters, you know, Michael Chandler does have, yes, a really good wrestling background and can use the wrestling to his advantage. He's a very powerful striker. He's knocked out guys like Tony Ferguson. He rocked Justin Gaethje. Knocked out Dan Hooker. Cold. He was probably the biggest threat to Charles Oliveira before Islam came around. I think Michael Chandler is super underrated. I think he can mix in the wrestling well and his striking. I don't think technically is very good, but the power the guy has, I mean, you look at a few of his belts for knockouts, they're insane. Look at his fight against Pitbull and that knockout. Why are people excited for this fight? For those of you that don't know, obviously, Dustin Poirier and Michael Chandler, they had an altercation. Uh, UFC 276. Dustin Poirier and Michael Chandler walked past each other after kind of going back and forth at each other in the media, making comments. This rivalry kind of started. Although there's no really clarification of kind of what started this altercation, it seems like in the video that Dustin Poirier basically didn't like Michael Chandler talking in the media and not basically saying it in person when they saw each other. If you were to ask Michael Chandler's side of it, he says that, you know, he's professional, he's not going to fight in the stands, he's going to get paid to fight. You know, if you look at Dustin Poirier, he's a striker. You know, yes, he has really good jiu-jitsu, underrated, he's a black belt, but what he's primarily good at is the boxing, especially the boxing. I opinion, he's the best boxer in the UFC. I think it's like either him or Connor. Yes, you can make an argument for Max, but if you look at the fight with Dustin and Max, I think that shows that Dustin is just better. In my opinion, though, you gotta give it to Dustin. And especially as the fight goes longer, Dustin gets better. Michael Chandler, although, is the opposite. Michael Chandler's cardio isn't exactly the best. In my opinion, the reason he lost that Justin Gaethje fight at MSG last year was because he faded. This fight, I think, is just a guaranteed fight of the night. You know, Dustin Poirier, you gotta keep it on the feet, I think, the whole time. I think Michael Chandler is definitely the better wrestler. But that being said, you know, you would think Michael Chandler's game plan would be to go wrestle, but when has he really ever done that in the UFC? The guy is there to make very entertaining fights. I don't think he's gonna just lay on him for three rounds. You know, if you're Michael Chandler, like I said, I think the game plan is mix it up, you know? Not necessarily, you don't have to like out wrestle Poirier three rounds because I don't think he could do that. I don't think he's going to be able to have number one the cardio, but I don't think I don't think Dustin Poirier is going to let Michael Chandler do that. I think Dustin will have the takedown defense enough if Michael Chandler's game plan is pure wrestling. What you gotta do is mix it up, you know, gain the respect of Dustin so he puts the hands up, then shoot for the takedown, steal the rounds that way. Michael Chandler, however, I mean he just throws his strikes as hard as possible. The guy isn't very uh this is kind of why he also gets faded, it's because he just throws them hard, you know. He's not really, in my opinion, going light ever which is makes for very entertaining fights which is why the justin gaethje fight is literally like one of the one of the funnest fights to watch the guy just goes for it the whole time and i think against dustin poirier look you could make one move and you're going to sleep because dustin poirier is as technical as they get i think michael chandler you know he's gonna have to try to be a little more educated in this fight you know it doesn't mean that he can't go wild sometimes you know i think i think poirier showed especially in his fight with justin gaethje that he can get overwhelmed the guy can get overwhelmed with strike the challenge is can michael chandler not gas out i think if michael chandler has great cardio i think his chances of winning this fight is amazing and i'm not doubting michael chandler's hard work or anything like that i find he gets a little carried away with himself tries to go for the finishes right away and that can cause fatigue so like i said michael chandler's gonna have to expect this one to go to a decision i think to even get a finish and there's always the x factor too because michael chandler hits underratedly hard and i feel like he's still working on stuff you know the guy i think he's like 30 435 but the guy is still learning things i mean you saw that front kick with tony ferguson we've never seen him do anything like that in his life so it's really interesting he's still learning things and he's still moving on as a mixed martial artist i think this fight's gonna be super exciting i'm gonna give him my prediction later on in the week but uh that's that's what that's what i think about this fight but this fight is a guaranteed fight at night and uh, i'm definitely gonna look forward to seeing it let me know what you guys think in the comment section please leave a prediction who you think is going to win do you agree with what i said not let me know and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video